guys, it's Kira, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I'm very sorry that I've not posted a video. Literally since over a month ago, it was mid-August, I was battling COVID at the time when I posted my last few videos. The video series that I was doing for Back to School was meant to be longer than that. I wasn't meant to do three videos. I was meant to post like every day leading up to going back to school, but that failed. Um, and I'm at college now and I'm loving it. It's great. My life is just completely different. Ever since I posted that video, I started college. I went to a festival. I've been to three concerts, is it? I went to see Youngblood, The Vamps and Becky Hill. Um, I've seen Max and Harvey again twice at the Big Festival in Oxfordshire and also at Media City UK yesterday as of the day I'm filming this. Um, so you know, it's been fun. Uh, I'm at college, I'm loving college, probably more to follow on that soon. I should be bringing study related videos back soon. Um, but this is not a study related video as you can see from the title. So my videos about Max and Harvey seem to be the videos on my channel that do the best. Probably because most of my audience are Max and Harvey fans because the only people I personally know who know about this YouTube channel is the people that follow me on my fan page because I don't share it on my personal account, my music account, anything like that as of this moment in time. I probably will in the future, but at the moment, I wanna settle into college, make sure people aren't judging me or anything like that, make sure I make some friends and stuff like that, then I'll do it. I probably might even change my name to my real name. However, yeah, most of my audience are from my fan page. So I thought, let's do another Max and Harvey related video, and today I'm going to be ranking Max and Harvey's music videos. Disclaimer, this is all my own opinion. Do not attack me for my opinion. I have thoroughly watched these videos. I've been a fan of Max and Harvey since 2017. I'm entitled to my own opinion, and if you don't agree, I'm sorry. I also respect your opinion, but don't attack me for having my own. Uh, this is also a ranking of the music videos themselves, not the songs, because the ranking would be extremely different if we were basing it on the songs, okay? Just the music video, just needed to point that out. I'd also like to point out that I'm not including In My DNA because they are not in the video, and I'm including what they've entitled them as visualizers because I think they're still music videos and I don't know why they're not considered to be official music videos, but yes, I'm including those. Uh, so there is 11 on this list and let's get started. In 11th place, probably no surprise to anybody who's seen their music videos, is Stuck on the Ceiling. There is no storyline in this video whatsoever, but I also understand why there's not a storyline because how can you give a storyline to a music video of a song that is about 14 year olds getting high and dancing on the ceiling? It's literally just their siblings, a bunch of their influencer friends and Dylan all just vibing in front of some coloured backgrounds. There's no outfit changes from any of them except Max putting on a Polaroid hoodie, which by the way, I'd love to know where he got that from because I would love that in my wardrobe. But overall, I just find it like a little bit cringy and childish. I know that's like, I know they were literally 14 at the time and it was like, I'm pretty sure it was like the second or third official music video they'd ever done. So like, I can understand why it's not very high quality and it just looks a bit childish, but like, you know, not a fan, so that is why I've ranked that in 11th place. In 10th place, we have She Moves In Her Own Way, which is actually Max and Harvey's most recent music video, so I feel like I'm gonna get a bit of backlash for this. This song, for anybody who doesn't know, was originally by a band called The Cooks, and Max and Harvey have covered it. I'm very confused about the storyline of this music video. It doesn't really make sense to me. Um, I did love the shots and the different camera angles that were used in their scenes, but I just don't understand the storyline at, at all. There's no outfit changes, but then again, it wouldn't really have made sense for them to make outfit changes because they were just kind of walking along the beach and it was all meant to be in like one time period. It wasn't two different periods of time or whatever. So I do understand why there was no outfit changes, but I'm never going to understand the storyline. I just felt like it was a bit confusing and it wasn't really evident who they were singing towards. Why was there so many random girls? There was literally loads and I was just like, who are you people and what relevance do you have? Why are they boxing? Where did that come from? Why didn't Max and Harvey communicate with any of the girls in any shape or form in the entirety of the video? What was Izzy getting ready for? Because it clearly can't have been a date if they were on the beach and she was in London, unless she just wants to walk to the beach. But I feel like walking to the beach from London might be a bit excessive. Um, 
unless you're a trained athlete, be my guest, but I'm pretty sure she's not. Why is she wearing socks with heels? Not a look, don't know where that came from. Why does it look like a parody of the thrift shop music video? What's with the childlike pigtails and who thought that that was gonna be a good idea? What are these and who decided that they were a good idea? What's with the fluorescent tutu? I mean, if you're a dancer, fine, but I'm pretty sure Izzy does not dance. Final point about the outfits, what is with the pink blazer? Okay, I am the queen of blazers. Everybody knows that, blazers are my thing. Do you know what else is my thing? Pink. Put them together, you get pink blazer. I'm sorry to break it to you. Nobody's allowed to wear a pink blazer from this day forward unless your name is Kira Phantom, which I very much doubt it is because it's such a random, weird, annoying, stupid, silly name. Why did Max not look like he wanted to be there for half of the video? I'm sorry, Harvey was like putting his all into it and it actually looked like he wanted to actively be there. Whereas Max just looked like he wasn't interested. Which fair enough, I wouldn't be if I was doing a music video for that song, but still, it didn't look like he was interested at any point. I think there was like one book, you know the bit when they were like sat separately and they were like sat on a wall, just like kind of singing to the camera. I feel like there he seemed a bit more interested, but most of the time he didn't. So many questions and not enough answers. In ninth place, I've put lonely. There wasn't a storyline to this video whatsoever. And I don't understand how it can be called an official music video when both drown and worry a little less are considered visualizers but this one isn't. That is what baffles me because this out of all of them would be most suited to be named a visualizer. It just felt like they were trying to be like a little bit quirky and dramatic, you know, with all like the flashing lights and stuff. I was just like, pipe down, like what's, what's the point? Why are they there? Why are they needed? You know, fine if you just want to like have a moment, but like they weren't even performing on a stage. It was just like they were rehearsing for a show. So like, I don't get why the lights were there. But you do you. Wasn't a massive fan of their outfits either. Max's in particular wasn't a big fan of. But then again, I didn't like Harvey's either. I like Max's jumper, but I didn't really like either of their outfits as a whole. However, I did like the different camera angles that were used. And I did like the fact that they utilised Luca and Eden, who is their drummer and their guitarist for their stage performances. I really liked that that was the first time we saw them and that they were introduced in a really good way. I will end on this though. When I was watching it, I did feel like I was high and tripping. Like with all the lights and stuff, I was just like, this is this is a sensory experience that I don't think I'm ever gonna get over and I've still not got over it. In eighth place, I have got One More Day in Love, which was their first ever music video. I love this music video purely because it was released on my birthday. <laughs> That's pretty much the only thing I really love about it. Um, so this was their first ever one in 2016. Kind of like a statement moment. It's also their most viewed video, not only their most viewed music video, but also on the entirety of their YouTube. This is their most viewed video. I'm pretty sure it's got like 2.5 million views, probably a bit more than that. I don't know how, clearly in the age of Musical.ly, that was considered good. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it's not incredible. But then again, when you are on a low budget and you're only just like rising stars, what can you do that's much better than that? But they tried, I'm gonna give it to them. One thing I would say, outfits, I can't really criticize their outfits too much because they were like, were they 13 or 14 at the time? And it was 2016, like nobody's fashion, I'm pretty sure, in 2016 was a vibe apart from the five sauce stands. But you know, that's a different story. Like Harvey, what are the boots? What's the coat and the denim jacket? Okay, fine. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And we've got Max's signature burgundy bomber jacket that he used to wear all the time. But you know, like, not a massive fan of the outfits, but I can't criticise too much because of the age that they were and the era we were in, you know, like, they couldn't really have done much else with it unless they went, like, really, like, childish with it. I don't feel like it had a storyline. Yes, it was about, like, falling in love with some girls at school or whatever. And I did like the fact that they utilised Kimberly and Emily, who, by the way, you know that Tom guy that I talk about, like, a little bit too much on this channel and everywhere else? Emily is Tom's twin sister, so that's why I like the fact she was utilised. But Kimberly, I'm pretty sure, is one of Max's ex-girlfriends, if I remember correctly. And if they didn't actually date, they definitely had a thing but I can't remember the exact details because I wasn't a fan at the time. So I've just, that's just me hearing stuff from live streams that I've watched or like when it's been brought up again. I don't know why I'm going into this because it's completely irrelevant to the video. So let's get back on track. 
Um, I did like the different locations. Yes, it was all like shot in a park in Windsor by Windsor Castle. And, you know, it didn't really like, it didn't really look much different most of the time. I did like the different angles. They used like the ones where it was up high over the trees. There was ones of them like rolling down a hill. Like I did like the angles that they used. I just feel like they could have been, a, they could have added a few more different locations. Um, I liked the bit where they were sat on like the monument and the steps and stuff. Um, I can't, I don't really want to say much bad about this music video because it was like their first ever one and nobody's first ever music video is going to be absolutely incredible unless you're like, you blew up and then you did a music video and you had like this big team behind you and like you were signed to like a massive record label or something. But most people's first music videos are not going to be the best things in the world. So it, it's okay. Uh, it, yeah. I wouldn't choose to watch it in my spare time, but I, I'm not going to say it's amazing, but I'm not going to say it's bad. I, it's okay. It's okay. I feel like placing One More Day in Love at number eight is reasonable. In seventh place, we have Electric. I absolutely love this song and music video, but I can't really rank it much higher because it doesn't have a storyline. And for me, music videos, having a storyline is quite important. Otherwise, I just don't really see the point in it. Like, why even bother making a music video if there's not a story to it? They only really used two locations, and it wasn't even really two locations, because it just looked like one of them was one location, and then the other location was the same place, but just with some lights in the background. So I'm pretty sure it was just one location, which wasn't very creative, and I feel like they could have done a bit better there, but at the same time, I did like the location choices. There was no outfit changes, which I feel like could have improved it a little bit, but I'm not too bothered about that to be honest in this particular video. I love the lighting that was used, the lights in the background look really cool and their overall looks as well like Jaden's makeup, I love the blazer, you know anybody that wears a blazer, well obviously except Izzy I had a problem with that but like that's besides the point. If I see people in a blazer I appreciate it very highly. Um, Harvey wearing a leather biker jacket like let's go king as you should, I don't know who styled that music video but I do like it. Um, what Jaden was wearing under the blazer I wasn't too keen on but then again she can pretty much pull anything off. So I suppose I'll roll with it. There was definitely a lack of camera movement though. Like all the shots seemed to be from in front. There was no shots from behind them or at the side or anything like that. And also when Jaden was dancing around, I don't think it was choreographed. It didn't seem choreographed, but if it was choreographed, I am slightly concerned. I think she should change choreographer. Not anymore, because I know she does a lot of work with Guy Groove and Rumi Noel, and they are both incredible, incredible choreographers in the industry who I would absolutely kill to do a class with one day. But yeah, love the song, love the video. They're the things that I feel like are lacking and could slightly be improved, but I do love the way they performed it, the execution, the lighting, the, the whole vibe of the location. I do think it was a good video. In sixth place, we have Worry A Little Less. Now everybody knows this is not my favorite song in the world but we're just talking about the music videos here, which is why I ranked it quite high. Also, I'm ever so slightly biased because Tom filmed this music video. If anybody didn't know, Tom is a videographer. He did film studies at college and he does lots of videos and he's very good at it. And you should go check out his YouTube channel. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just like TH Films or something like that. I'll put it on the screen. You should go check his films out. They're very, very good and he's very, very talented. Um, so yeah. Uh, so he filmed this and I don't know if he filmed all of it or just parts of it, but I'm pretty sure he filmed the majority of it. So I'm going to give him the credit for it, but that's probably the reason I've ranked it so high is because I'm ever so slightly biased. I love the outfits that they were wearing when they were outside, like at the night time, the, the moon ones. Can't really say the same for the outfits when they were indoors and in the zorbs and stuff because Max just looked like a cloud mixed with a ball of electricity. And Harvey looked like Sue Sylvester from Glee. So, questionable. I mean, did look bad. I like the vibrant colours and I feel like they went well together and it worked. But I just much prefer the moon outfits that they were wearing when they were outdoors. I don't really understand the Zorbs either. I know Harvey explained it and he said it was because like the songs about like people being in lockdown and them telling them not to worry and like everything's going to be all right and whatever. Like and he, and then he said like something along the lines of oh it's like because everybody's in lockdown they're in like a bubble and they can't get out and or something like that. I can't remember exactly. You're going to have to try and find it yourself, but I still don't understand the Zorbs. I don't really get the relevance of them. I feel like if he explained it to me again I might understand a bit more, but like 
I don't know. Not really sitting well with me. It doesn't really have a storyline. Like, they're just kind of singing to the camera like they are in One More Day in Love and in Lonely. Um, which I like having a storyline in a music video. I feel like it's much easier to follow. I prefer watching it if it's got a storyline and I feel like I'm like in a movie with a soundtrack or whatever. But yeah, lack of storyline did kind of annoy me. But as I said, because Tom filmed it, I'm kind of biased and it wasn't that bad of a video. <laughs> in fifth place, we have Stranger. There was a clear storyline to this song because obviously it's about falling in love with a stranger. Like you can't really not have a storyline because it would work perfectly to do a storyline. However, I feel like it could have been executed better. I feel like there could have been less shots of the boys singing to the camera and more of them like falling in love with these girls and like their experiences when they were like connecting with them and stuff. And I know there was quite a few of them like walking around, holding hands, just like chatting. Max had his little moment, which I'm sure he extremely enjoyed because I've never seen his face light up so much. Um, you know, like, there was a bit of that, but I felt like it wasn't really like a storyline. It was just kind of like a few like little videos of them meeting these girls, but it didn't really seem like you could watch them falling in love or whatever. So I feel like the storyline could have been executed a little bit better, although it was clear what was going on. I did like the outfits that they wore. Um, not my favourite outfits I've ever worn, but I didn't hate them. I think I thought they were quite nice outfits. I like the fact that they did actually change outfits because a lot of the time they don't, they just keep the same ones. But Max's cow print shirt, I can't not laugh at it because when the video came out, I commented why is Max wearing a cow print shirt on their teaser video that they put on their Instagram and the reply I got from them was just MOO in all caps. So now it just makes me laugh because I think about that moment. <laughs> I felt that the number of locations was lacking slightly, although I did really like the bit where they were sat separately, like on the sofa singing to the camera. I thought that was really good. I liked the lighting and the way that that was executed and portrayed. However, I did feel like like, you know, the bits where they were, like, stood up and dancing around, like, all of that. Like, I feel like that could have been a little bit, like, there could have been a bit more. I, I felt like I was missing something, you know? In fourth place, I've put Where Were You. I love the constant outfit and location changes in this video. It didn't feel like it was all, like, in one place. It was very obvious, like, when they came out the doors of the house, when they were walking down the street, walking through the park... Uh, at night time walking through the street when they're in a I'm not sure where it was I'm assuming London but they were in a city somewhere um in some industrial kind of area at some point like I liked the location changes the outfits I did really really like I love that yellow hoodie on Max I don't know what it is about Max in yellow but he he just does it for me you know it really does work um I loved the black and white jackets they were wearing at the end like I love those jackets so much Harvey's tartan trousers Yes, waist down. The white denim jacket Harvey was wearing at the start. You know, like, I feel like... Like, well, their, their starting outfits weren't my favourite, but I feel like in terms of costume and styling in this video, it was really well done. I really did like the outfits that they'd wear. They, I really did like the outfits that they were wearing. I doubt they chose them. I feel like a stylist did, but still, like... It was a good move from their stylist or whoever chose them for them. There was a bit of a storyline, I suppose, like when they were meeting the girls and hanging around with them. But at the same time, like, I didn't feel like there was much of one there. It felt like it was lacking a little bit. I did understand the storyline, though, and I did understand that they were, like, meeting these girls and they were like, where have you been all my life? You know, like, I love you. <laughs> but, like... You know, it, it, a lot of the time it did just feel like they were singing to the camera. Like when they came out of the house, when they were walking down the street, walking through the park, like it just felt like they were just singing to a camera. And I feel like the storyline could have been utilised a lot more throughout the video rather than just like at the end or whatever. So it didn't really feel like it had much of a concept around it, but at the same time it was understandable, it was kind of clear what was going on. And I, overall, I really do like the music video, so it was really good. In third place, I've put Drown. Now, this is actually labelled on their YouTube as a visualiser. And I don't know why, because it shouldn't be. It should be down as an official music video. I love this video. I think it, it's incredible. And it deserves more credit than it's given. I love the fact that they physically went in the shower. They didn't use drowning as a metaphor. They actually went in the shower, looked a little bit, like, depressed. You know, like, dripping with water, which was incredibly attractive, by the way. You know, I really did like it. The storyline linked to the lyrics, which is what I wanted from that. And I'm glad that that was achieved. Outfit-wise, cannot fault Max. 
the chains, yes please, the shirt, he looked gorgeous. And the, the water dripping down on him and him being all wet was just, it topped it off. He just, chef's kiss, you know? Well done, whoever styled him. Harvey, on the other hand, I like the rings and the shirt was not awful. <laughs> but the lacy top thing, not really for me. I don't know if he actually thought he looked good in that. And I don't know how other fans feel about it, but I didn't really think the lacy top thing was particularly amazing but then again that's just personal preference like i wouldn't probably be seen dead in it and i'm surprised that harvey agreed to wear it unless you know that's his thing unless he's having a spiritual awakening and he's like oh i'm harry styles now you know like i feel like that that could happen at some point with harvey and you know what whatever floats your boat honey i loved the red leds and the change in emotion particularly with max when they turned on from when they turned off. Like Max was really like monotone, like I don't really have any feeling left in me, like I don't really know how to feel sort of thing. And then the red LEDs come on and it's like, whoa, he's a different person. He's angry. He's like, I've been let down like, oh, power move, love it. Harvey didn't really utilize the red LEDs as much as Max did, but I still did like it and I thought it was good. And I was like, yes, let's go. I did feel that at times Harvey looked ever so slightly scary. Not throughout, it was just like at some points, but like he just scared me a little, you know? I was just like, whoa. I think it was just like the black eyes. Like, I don't know if there was a filter put on that or like he had like contact, coloured contact lenses in or something, but his eyes just looked really black and evil and sinister. And I was like, oh my God, I'm actually terrified of you right now. And there was also a few times where it wasn't even his eyes. It was just like his facial expressions were just like angry and I was like oh my god don't hurt me like he actually comes across as scary which is just completely out of character for Harvey because he's just like an innocent little just like an innocent little like blob you know like he's an angel he's just so cute we love him so I suppose I could say good acting because he actually came across as angry I would say in terms of acting as well this is probably Max's best acting performance that he's ever done not just like music videos like ever because we all know acting is not max's strong point that's a shame he was really good at that though. yeah harvey i think i've just seen the most beautiful girl on the cruise ah uh, i'm afraid someone might have already found her before you but this i would say is definitely max's strongest acting performance and i really did like the way he executed this and portrayed the kind of character that he was portraying. I know it's a true story and that they said it was like a real song based on real events. So it's not really acting and they can just kind of put themselves back into that situation that they were feeling when they wrote it. However, I thought the way he did that and the way he portrayed it was actually really good. So hats off to you, Max Mills. One thing I would say is I never noticed how pointy Max's ears were. There were times Harvey's ears looked pointy as well, but most of the time they just looked like round. But there were some points where I was like, whoa, Max's ears are so pointy. I don't know why I'm pointing that out, but like, they just, I don't know. I've just, I've never noticed his ears being so pointy before. I don't know if that was edited to look like that or whatever, but I was just like, okay. I also thought him punching the wall was extremely attractive. I would like him to do that again. Angry Max is attractive Max, as far as I'm concerned. And to end, I loved the shots that they were doing in between the bits where they were singing, where it was like of the sea and of the streets, the cars, the lightning. Like, I thought it was really, really good. I really liked that. And I feel like that was what made the music video so good for me, was because it wasn't just them. I could understand them calling it a visualizer if it was just kind of them singing in the shower sort of thing. Um, I'm thinking of that Shower by Becky G song that was literally from like when I was in primary school. Get out of my head. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I really like those little bits and I'm really glad that they were put in there because that really worked. But I feel like I could understand them calling it a visualizer if those bits weren't in there. So yeah, thought that was really good. In second place, we have Words, which is from 2017. So it's quite an old video. And most of the stuff that they do that's old, I'm not the biggest fan of, but this music video, I feel, was really well executed. It was obviously planned out in advance, and I love the, the video overall. The amount of different locations. Yes, it all took place in one physical place, but the different shots, like locations, they were, they were under the pier, they were on the beach, 
they were on the top of the pier, they were busking on the pier in some completely different location. It was just like, thank God you know how to use different locations. It was really good, you know, like, let's go. It was a very clear and executed storyline. Finally, we have one. It was really good, you know. It was obvious that they were after these girls. They got the girls. They hung around with the girls. It was like, oh my God, praise the Lord. There's a storyline and it works. Yes, let's go. I'm so happy that this had a storyline and that I liked it. Wasn't the biggest fan of the outfits, but then again, this was 2017. I ain't judging, but yes, it, the storyline fit the song. It just, it works. It works, you know, like, yes. And again, there were no outfit changes, but I feel like that wouldn't have worked. I feel like it was good that they didn't change outfit because it was all meant to be in one period of time. So it wouldn't have made sense for them to change outfit. So I feel like that was a good move on their behalf. And I'm glad they didn't like change outfit like at night time or whatever, because like sometimes like when the time period changes, like with the time of the day, people change outfits in a music video. But I'm really glad that they didn't so that it signified that it was all in one day and that they'd hung out with those girls from the moment that they'd seen them and they hadn't like left to go get changed to get ready to like go on a date or something. So it's good, you know? The only thing, in my opinion, that could have been improved is the acting. Like, when Lexi and Devon came over to them the fir for the first time when they were walking across the pier, they just kind of, like, carried on walking and let them stand with them. And they just started, like, immediately laughing and giggling together. And it was like, you haven't even acknowledged that they're there. Like, you just kind of, like, they came and you were like, oh, hey, whatever. Like, it didn't even start seem like they, like, introduced themselves. It's just like, oh, these girls joined along with us and we just carried on with our day. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but like, I didn't feel that was executed 100% amazing. It's like they immediately acted like they'd known each other for years. Like they didn't stop. They just carried on walking and then started laughing with them. Final thing I'd like to point out is look how awkward Harvey looks in this shot. I know you can't see his face, so you can't actually see if he's physically looking awkward, but like just the way his arm is placed just annoys me. I don't know what it is and I don't know why he did that, but it just, it makes me uncomfortable and he looks uncomfortable and the fact that he looks uncomfortable makes me as a viewer uncomfortable don't know if anybody else, anybody else felt that way while they were watching but that just i had to point that out and in first place taking the gold medal is trade hearts now this is not my favorite song in the world but this in my opinion is definitely their best music video really really well planned and executed it was a clear storyline that had been thoroughly thought out I, I applaud them for it. It actually had a storyline that I really liked. I love the different camera angles and the locations that they used. The visual effects, like at the end when all the hearts flew out, like, yes, let's go! I love when, like, Harvey was, like, meant to be dripping with sweat or whatever when he was in, like, that tunnel vent thing. And I just loved the fact that it was, like, a mission that they were, like, planning for at the start and then they cheated at the end. And they had, like, Jaden and... They had like Jaden and Casey and Nathan and I can't remember who the other person was with them and it was like in them in their video which I really really liked. I like how it wasn't just one or two locations either like the locations and the shot changed so much. They were playing their mission in a room with like a wall or whatever then they were singing at the wall then they went to a con then there was a control room where Jaden and Nathan and Casey and unnamed person were. There was the laser room there was the place where they were when the hearts were flying out at the end there was the bit where the lasers were that they were singing in front of there was the outdoor gate that they were sitting in front of and trying to get through i thought the locations were really really good didn't stay in the same outfits again really good i like the outfit changes i feel like they worked it made sense for them to change at different points in the video and yeah overall their best video i can't really fault it that much i thought it was really really good really liked it yeah yeah that's it i did it Woo! <laughs> let's go that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this is kind of my comeback to youtube i i want to promise you that i'm going to do consistent videos from now on but let's be realistic am i going to keep that promise probably not i really want to like settle into college and have like a couple of months there before i come back like fully um but i would like to be a lot more consistent have a lot more regular uploads because i feel like i'm lacking and i can't keep moaning that i'm not achieving my dreams if i'm not actually doing if I'm not actually actively doing anything to achieve them and grow on this platform and on all my platforms. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, remember to like the video because it really helps with all the algorithms and stuff. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed because that is really important to me and I will love you forever. 
Comment down below any suggestions you have for future videos. If there's any parts of this video you found particularly interesting and would like to share with, share with your friends, feel free to take a screen recording or a screenshot of the part of the video that you liked, share it on your Instagram story and tag me on any of my accounts. Remember to follow all my social medias which will be linked down in the description and my Instagram usernames will be on the screen now. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you very soon. Bye!